All right, people, we're back, man. Um, hmm, um, anyways, it's Thursday, the 9, 20th, January 20th. Um, UFC 270 is in three more sleeps. Uh, the press conference is today. It's today. It's at 5 o'clock. I was going to wait and watch the highlight, but it's at 5. I got to go to work at, at, uh, at 5 or around that time, so I can't, I'll watch it on my way to work, but, um, uh, yeah, which sucks, so I'm just gonna jump on and do this video now, but, uh, there's been, yesterday was media day, it was Wednesday, um, bunch of media, Brandon Moreno was doing media, Juliana Pena is doing media as well, um, Cyril gone, uh, you know, all the big hitters, even some of the, uh, undercards, I don't think I saw... K. Hansen or anything. Lots of talks of uh, John Jones. John Jones possibly being at the fights. I don't think he will be though, because the last time, I mean, he was out. No, it wasn't. It's in. This is in Anaheim. It's the Honda Center, I believe. Right? Two seventies at the Honda Center. Yeah, it's at the Honda Center because I saw the sign. Uh, so I mean, he probably won't be there because the last time he was out, which was Vegas, completely different. But he got in trouble, you know. So I bet he stays. But he'll be tweeting, I'm sure. Um, Anyways, uh, so yeah, Francis is doing media, Cyril Gon's doing media, Fernand Lopez is doing media, I don't know if it's Fernand or Fernando, the coach, Ngannou's ex-coach, um, Cyril Gon's present coach, but uh, they've all been doing little shots at each other, I feel like, I feel like they're trying to pretend like there's no real issues, but I think deep down both of them, like, want to kill each other, like, quietly, you know what I'm saying, uh, Because, you know, as of recently, sparring footage just came out uh, this past week, maybe in the past seven days. Sparring, oops, sorry. Sparring footage just came out of, um, of, uh, Cyril gone and Francis, and it just doesn't look, it's, obviously it's old too, but it doesn't look too well. It doesn't look really great for bo either of them, and it's just a little clip of it. I'll, I'll play the footage. It's not the greatest of anything, but if you're gonna, like, judge it. It looked like Francis might have been getting clapped up. But after that, then Francis comes out and says, in yesterday's media, he said, uh, let's see if I can find it. I was just watching it. Let's see if I can find it. What was that? What's the, uh, damn. I wish I could, uh, I wish I knew that dude's name. He's the media guy. He runs, he's always the, uh, oh, all right, this is it. Down that you, you knocked Cyril down in sparring. I wanted to clarify, did you knock him down or did you knock him out? Did I say that on countdown? You didn't say that on countdown. Oh, sorry, I said that. Yes, I knocked him out. You knocked him out? Yeah. With what? Uh, high kick, let's high kick. Uh, you said in the countdown there's, there's a reason why that footage has not come out. Oh, there's a lot of reason why that footage didn't come out. So does that yeah, give you yeah. confidence going into this Saturday? Yeah, so, well, yeah, so he said that, and then... Uh, I don't, you know what's weird to me is like out of all the coach, I get it because he coached Francis and he's coaching Cyril Gone right now, but like they've been doing lots of, he's included in like all the media days now. Everyone's talking to him. It's just funny to me, like just because of drama, you know what I mean? And it, it, there's so many great, ta maybe the coach, maybe coaches refuse to, uh, maybe they refuse to do media or something like that just because it's about the fighter you know but uh it's weird that media wants to talk to him strictly about controversy nothing else really they just want to talk about like if there's bad blood if this happened in sparring if this didn't happen in sparring what friend you know what i mean they never talk to coaches in media you never see on media scrums a coach up there talking and answering questions rarely do you see that you know what i mean and it's just weird he's all over the place right now i, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing um it's just weird to me that they're that they're asking like you know um, that they're asking him questions, but uh, it is all that shit is whatever. All that shit was a long time ago. They said Sir, uh, Francis said in media that they only trained like six six days together, or like something like that, six to eight days or something like that together. Like it wasn't like they trained hella much together, you know. And this was years ago, you know. This was like 2016 or 17, I think. So it's like, this was a long time ago. For, for, Cyril's gotten a lot better since then. Francis has gotten a lot better since then. Uh, we're going to find out Saturday. All this shit that everyone's talking, we're going to find out who wins regardless. If I was Francis, though, 
because I did hear Fernand uh, Lopez or whatever his name is, the coach, saying that. He wants to, he thinks that uh, Cyril might win by submission. I was thinking that Cyril might, like, take him down and try to tap him out. Fuck standing with him and risking it. I'll just try to shoot and take him down. But, um, and I heard Francis also say something like, they're not worried about having, they don't have to worry about the takedowns in this fight. So that feels good. I'm like, dude, what? Like, you're tripping. This fool's got submissions under his belt. Like, he could take you down and submit you. So... Like I'm saying, I'm just talking shit. Who knows, bro? It, we'll, we're all going to find out Saturday. But as of now, at this very moment, I am leaning towards Cyril Gaon winning and submitting him. That's what I'm leaning towards. That's what I'm leaning towards. That's it. I'm leaning towards Cyril Gaon submitting him and taking him down, grinding him out, submitting him later in the rounds. Uh... But, who knows? But that's what I'm feeling. That's how I'm feeling. I could be wrong. I want Francis to win. Don't get it twisted. I want Francis to win, but that's just my uh, logical brain giving that opinion on the fight and what's going to happen. Uh, who else fights at Tusa? Brandon Moreno, Diavis, and Figueredo. I hope Brandon Moreno does the same thing. I hope he comes out fire like that, pumping that jab. I hope he comes out just like that in the, like in the last fight. Diavis and switch camps. I think he's in Arizona with... Um, Henry Cejudo, so I think he's in 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 Arizona with Henry Cejudo. Uh, switched entire camp, so we're gonna get a different um, Davison. Obviously, I hope Brandon Moreno gets it done. I love Brandon Moreno as a champ. I think he's a good light. I think he's a good like public. I think he's just a good person to have represent as a champion, as a wholesome person, just a good solid person. Never switched up. Not gonna switch up. I think he's just a good person to uh, represent, you know. So I hope he wins. I don't know how. Maybe the same in a similar fashion as the last fight. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Michelle Pereira, Greg Hardy. This is his last fight on his contract. He's fighting Alexi Olianek. Cody Stamen opens the uh, main card against Saeed Nurmagomedov. Okay. Adolfo, don't really care for the prelims. Early prelims, I believe Kay Hansen opens the card. I'm interested in that fight. So I'm interested in this Kay Hansen fight versus Jasmine. Don't know who this girl is. I'm assuming she's from the Contender Series because uh, she's got a gray and white picture. Jasmine Jas, Jasmine Jasaduvikius. And then we have Vanessa Demopoulos making her second fight. I want to see her fight with a full camp because she fought JJ. JJ beat her on uh, short notice. But this girl seems pretty strong. Record doesn't really show it. A representative six and four. She's fighting Silvana Gomez Juarez. Uh, this card's not the most stacked, to be honest. But it's all right. Fights are fights, man. I love it, regardless. Um, anyways, let's see what else is happening in the world. Uh, Jorge Masvidal can't wait to say, "I told you, bitch." After Chael Sonnen's career-ending fight quip, fight quip. Oh yeah, because Chael Sonnen said, because uh, Chael Sonnen said said something like, uh, "This is this is a career ending fight for Masvidal," and then that's what it, the headline was. At least I didn't see the video, but and then this is what Jorge Masvidal had to say. I personally like Chael. A little bothered by that comment, but it's kind of like it's just a setup for the mother. For the fucking mountain to be a lot higher. Masvidal said on Wednesday's MMA hour, when I climb it, I need to listen to that. When I climb it and Chael's like, I can't believe you climbed that mountain. I'm going to be like, I told you, bitch. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, that's a that's a tough fight for real. That's a real tough fight. Dana White warns John Jones to stay away from 270. I saw that. That was just him saying like he shouldn't come because, you know, the incidents that happened in Vegas and the last time he was at the card got in trouble. Francis Conner's coach describes what it's like to be hit with the champ's ungodly power. Nate Diaz calls for UFC to quit slowing down the real fight game and book Dustin Poirier. Yeah, because I saw Dustin tweet out, I'll fight your fucking ass. I'll fight your ass. And I made a post about that. I'm going to fight your ass. You know the real money fight. <laughs> so uh, I saw that. That's interesting. Uh, not much. Slow week, man. Slow week. I waited. Claudia Gadea details new UFC job. Wants to bring Performance Institute to Brazil. What is she doing for the UFC? Because I know she retired. Um, I 
has accepted a job in the UFC with a gigantic list of obligations. She told MMA Fighting, but she's mainly focused on his development of young athletes in her native Brazil. Speaking on this week's episode of Fidel explained that her main goal now is to help set up her countrymen. I'll work with several talents, but I want to work hard I, the same way I work. I want to work hard. I worked as an athlete to help fighters in Brazil. So she's working for the UFC in the Brazil Pride circuit. Many people in its inner circle there. Reality. Hmm. Cool, man. Good for her. I love to see when fighters retire and they still find like, you know, an outsource of uh, not an outsource. She still like find a job within this within the rights of what they're doing you know it makes me happy for them so uh detroit self-defense fuck that guy fuck that clown tyron woodley prefers mma fight with dan hardy says boxing would be letting him off the hook maybe he's gonna fight dan hardy now all right well that's about it man not much going on. We'll wait. Tomorrow, today's the press conference. Tomorrow's the weigh-ins. I'll do a fight after the weigh-ins. We'll watch the highlights of the weigh-ins and maybe the face-offs tomorrow. Maybe the highlights of the press conference tomorrow as well. Um, yeah, maybe that's what we'll do. I'll do the highlights of the press conference and then the highlights of the face-off tomorrow, both in, in one, you know, get the gist of everything. Uh, um, yeah, that's about it, man. Thanks for, uh, you know, staying tuned and rocking with me. Like, subscribe, share. All that good shit. Hit the notification bell. I'm out of here. Peace.